Mr. Speaker, I would like to advise this Honorable House of the government's intention to increase the pension benefit for Bermuda's war veterans. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members will be aware that Bermuda has a long history of military war involvement. Unfortunately, our veterans have not always gotten the respect and recognition they deserve due to a myriad of racial and economic injustices, injustices that, were that were inscribed into local laws and policies of the day. Mr. Speaker, during the First World War, Bermuda soldiers were members of the Bermuda Militia Artillery, and it was decided that they were too small and too inexperienced as a unit to be involved in combat. They served as an essential support staff behind the lines in Italy and in Egypt. In 1919, the, war, excuse me, the 1919 War Pensions Act stipulated that service overseas, you needed to serve overseas to receive a pension. So particu these particular soldiers did not have an issue. Mr. Speaker, pension issues rose for those soldiers who served at home in later wars. These Bermudians volunteered for services, but were not sent overseas for a number of reasons. Volunteer, volunteers in the reserve occupations included masons, builders, engineers, shipwrights, carpenters, and police, and they were kept in Bermuda as their skills will, skills will be required if our island came under attack. Men with families were not sent overseas. Soldiers who remained in the Bermuda Guard some for over six years included members of the Bermuda Militia Artillery, the Bermuda Militia Engineers, the Bermuda Militia Infantry, and the Bermuda Volunteer Rifle Company. They comprise of both black and white veterans until the amendments to the act in 2007 brought forth the, by the PLP administration, these soldiers were denied benefits and the title of war veterans. Mr. Speaker, it is especially disheartening that these men and women and their widows or widowers have had to fight for their just recognition as they are seniors in our community. This government is committed to advancing policies that will help right the wrong. Mr. Speaker, recently the War Pensions Commission, a group of former military members, submitted a proposal to increase the pet pensions for war veterans benefit recipients. There has been no increase to the war veterans pensions since 2007. When the monthly benefit was increased from 4,000 to, excuse me, from 400 to 800, for 2019, commissioners recommended a further increase of $200, an increase from 800 to $1,000 per month. Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to share that the government has accepted the recommendation of the commission, commissioners and intends to continue to honor those who fought for the people of Bermuda in previous years by introducing an additional benefit to the pensions benefit. The reality is that over time, the living expense of the war vet veterans has increased. It is intended that, the, that this pension increase will provide assist, additional assistance to our veterans and to their families. Mr. Speaker, the rate, of our, the rate of pensions for war veterans is prescribed in accordance with Section 16A of the Pensions and Gratuities War Service Act 1947. Today, earlier this morning, I tabled the war pensions order, and, and that will officially amend the rate. Mr. Speaker, the cost to the government for the proposed increase will be approximately $162,000 in, $162, in this fiscal year, 2019-2020. Partial budgetary provision has already been made within the budget allocation for the war veterans program was administered by the Department of Social Insurance. The additional cost will be funded from savings within the Ministry of Finance budget allocation. Mr. Speaker, honorable members are reminded that in addition to the pension benefit, war veterans also receive various medical benefits, which include all expenses for treatment at the King Edward Memorial Hospital, including vision care, unlimited prescription to um, drugs, medical office visits to GPs, and specialist care and denture coverage. Funeral expenses up to $5,000 are also covered under the Act. Mr. Speaker, even with the various pulls on the government purse, the government is committed to ensuring that our veterans are adequately supported. We remain sympathetic to the financial need of our island's veteran population. These men and women serve their country in, the, in, this, in the, this capacity because it was the right thing to do. They have never sought handouts and deserve to be honored at every opportunity. 
the government is hopeful that this increase will assist not only the veterans themselves, but will also, also offer some relief to the family members who now care for them. Mr. Speaker, we pay tribute to Bermuda's military veterans, including those of all ethnicities who made the ultimate sacrifice to help provide peace and the freedoms that we enjoy today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.